In this video, we are going to look at how to set up a Polyspace bug finder project on your code. If you are working with Eclipse based IDEs or Visual Studio, you can leverage integration of Polyspace into the IDE to launch either the bug finder or code prover verification without the need to manually set up a project. This is because the IDE contains the necessary information to launch an analysis. However, if you are not using a supported IDE, you can create a Polyspace project using the bug finder user interface. When creating a project, you have the option to let Polyspace read from the build command, but in this video, we are going to show how to configure the project manually. Just select the source files that are needed for the analysis and the right folder containing all the include files. In addition, you also need to configure Polyspace configuration settings appropriately to set the right context for the analysis. If you are running Polyspace on a particular piece of code for the first time, it might be okay to start with the default settings. If the code compiles cleanly, you should see the progress of the analysis. However, if your code has compilation errors, Polyspace warns you of the issues and you would have a detailed error message explaining the compilation error, which in this case is a missing header file. As you can see, the bug finder can continue analyzing the rest of the files that have no compilation issues. There are a few typical errors you might encounter such as missing macro definitions or dialects that are extensions to the standard ISOC language. These typical errors are described in the documentation under the bug finder getting started section. Please refer to the troubleshooting section to get more information on these common compilation errors. Once you set the right configuration and run the analysis, you should have the results in little time. Once you have successfully created a bug finder project, you can easily import it into a Polyspace code prover and can run detailed verification of the source code. It is recommended to start with creating a bug finder project before creating a code prover project. 